It was February 29th of 2008, so just 16 years ago. Uh, my youngest son at the time was two years old. Um, I took him downstairs uh, to the van. I had a we had a tandem stroller for him and his brother, and I set him in a van. I in the back of the van. I said, "Now stay here while I get a stroller out." Okay. I go to pull go pull a stroller out. Next thing I know, he took off down the middle of the street, uh, literally. So I took off after him, and we ended up both being hit by a Toyota Skyon. And uh, I was, uh, well, let me tell you about my son first. He was dragged 65 feet underneath the sky on. Um, I got a compound fracture in my left ankle, a uh, couple back injuries, and my head bounced off the side a few times. So I had a, that's how I got my TBI. And I had a, uh, a seizure in the middle of the street. Uh, and uh, the good thing is my my son was in out of the hospital within like two hours. He didn't get any broken bones or anything. Now, I was in a coma for three days. And uh, and actually, I almost died in the street. I almost died in the ambulance on the way there. And when they finally got me to the trauma center, they had to stop everything they were doing to get me going again. So I almost died three times that day. And now my... Uh, my son is uh, 18 and taller than me. And, uh, you know, it's interesting because um, after this happened, a while after this happened, we were talking about superheroes. And I said, well, mine is, is really Batman because he doesn't have the superpowers like, like Superman does and, you know, Spider-Man and all that. Yet he still goes out there and does it. So it takes more courage to do it without the strength and the powers than it does with them. And I said, he's all that's cool, Dad. I said, well, who's your superhero? He said, you are. So <laughs> it was kind of interesting uh, to hear that. But um, that's how I got my TBI. And I want to say something here. I'm, this is a good forum, and I'm glad you invited me to be on here. Uh, because, you know, like I tell my wife all the time, this was 16 years ago now. We we, we celebrate it as an anniversary. And my, my son and I kind of do. Hey, happy 16th and all that. but. Um, people say, man, they're so lucky to be alive. They're so lucky to be alive. Yeah, but what people don't realize is the after effects of it. What I have to deal with on a daily basis, anxieties, um, worries, fears. Uh, you know, now I have PTSD and, and OCD has been brought out, you know, a lot more than I had before. And that's what people don't, yeah, maybe it's good to be that I survived it, sure, but then I got to deal with the mental and the physical, my, my back issues, um, my, my ankle, the ankle, by the way, that uh, was a compound fracture. They put hardware in it, eight screws and metal plate. Now that ankle, the bone is starting to deteriorate. So I don't know how much longer I'll be able to even walk, but, uh, was it worth it? Absolutely. Cause now, like I said, my son's 18 years old, uh, just played his, uh, year in basketball and better year in football and all that. So. You know, the interesting thing, though, if I may, um, the interesting thing is before this happened, before we got hit by that car, uh, there were two incidents. And one incident, a lady had a stroller crossing the street. The car came. She pushed the stroller out of the way. She got hit and she died. Uh, and about two weeks later, an early lady had a toddler with her. And same thing, not where I live, not in the same intersection, in the same city, but not in the same intersection. And then uh, about two weeks after that, a lady was crossing with her toddler, saw a car coming. She pushed toddler out of the way. She got hit and she died. And I was number three. And number three didn't die. Came close, but didn't. And we were all, the thing is, we all did it saving our kids. And that's how important our, our kids are to us as parents.